Later this week, the Greater Rockford Chamber of Commerce will host the Mayor's Business Address Luncheon. Mayor McNamara will share his perspective on propelling economic prosperity in our region. Here with a preview, Mayor Tom McNamara, thanks so much for joining us yeah, today. Great to be with you. So you'll be talking to local business owners, yeah. the business community. How do you would you describe the current business climate? Yeah, so I'm first, thanks for having me. Really excited about the event. It's sold out, which is good news. Uh, I hope it's good news, <laughs> um, but really excited for that. But when you look at what's taking place, I think we're really in this huge economic boom. Uh, and I think for us at the city, there's a host of things that we can do to continue that and continue to grow it. Uh, one, property taxes. I mean, we have not increased property taxes, actually decreased them since I've been mayor, so we need to continue on that trajectory. I think you know, I know, we all pay too much in property taxes. We gotta do our part to make it business friendly in the city. Uh, two, we gotta invest in infrastructure. Just last night, we invested $15.5 million additional on top of our regular capital improvement plan on major thoroughfares because you need good infrastructure so commerce can move throughout the community. Three, we know that workforce is absolutely critical for our businesses, and so that's why we're investing in things like Rockford Promise or Goodwill's Excel Center uh, to make sure that every single child who lives in Rockford has that opportunity to upskill themselves either through uh, going off to college or getting a high school diploma or getting them into the trades. Now, last night in City Council, you talked about the money the casino is generating yeah. and how that can benefit the community. Does that benefit the business community as well? I really think it does. I mean, when you look at how we are spending the dollars, we're investing in public safety, uh, we're investing in long-term uh, liabilities and obligations that the city has, like pensions, which if we're putting casino money there, we're not putting your property tax dollars there. Uh, we're investing in Rockford Promise. We announced last night that we're gonna expand it, public and private, low and moderate income individuals will have the opportunity to go to Rockford University tuition free. Those kids who go to Rockford University or NIU, uh, they're going to get a college degree, they're close to home or at home, uh, and it's a great workforce development opportunity for our businesses here because they can have internships, start training them, getting them engaged in the community. They know the community, they love the community, they're staying here. Yeah, that's the best part. Yeah. Get them to stay here after Absolutely. they get their education, of course. What do you think are some of the challenges the business community faces? Oh, I would say, I mean, I think, again, probably regulations. And most of those don't come from the city. Those are either state or federal regula regulations. Uh, I would say the big thing that we are hearing right now is workforce. Uh, they have t The businesses will tell me they have a lot of work. They need people to do that work. And so I think it's incumbent on us in a couple of ways. One on regulations, get out of the way. Let mm -hmm. them do their job. They know the business world and their world the best. Let's get out of their way and let them do that. Uh, I mentioned Excel Center. I think this is really important. Uh, you look at a various number of studies throughout our community, everywhere from 28,000 to 43,000, you'll hear of people in our community, in our region that do not have a GED or high school diploma. For most jobs, for many jobs, it's critical that you have that. So we partnered with Goodwill uh, and they're bu building the first ever Excel Center in Illinois. Excel Center really quickly is high school diploma that's certified through the state of Illinois also takes away the biggest barrier folks have for getting that high school diploma, which is free childcare, and it also provides workplace uh, placement so that where they can go right into the business that needs them on the, on the manufacturing floor or in the office right away. All right, well, it sounds like you have a lot to share yeah, with the, we're excited. the uh, Chamber of Commerce on Thursday. Thanks so much for joining us and give us a little bit of preview of that. Yeah, thrilled to be with you.